how promising in the near term, in your view, is brain machine interfaces? So starting to allow computers to talk directly to the brains. Elon Musk is working on that with Neuralink and there's other companies working on this idea. Do you see promise there? Do you see hope for near-term impact? Well, every technology has pluses and minuses. Uh, already, we can record memories. Uh, I have a book, The Future of the Mind, yes. where I detail some of these breakthroughs. We can now record simple memories of mice and send these memories on the internet. Eventually, we're going to do this with primates at Wake Forest University and also in Los Angeles. And then after that, we'll have a memory chip for Alzheimer's patients. We'll test it out in Alzheimer's patients because, of course, when Alzheimer's patients lose their memory, they wander. They create all sorts of havoc, wandering around, uh, oblivious to their surroundings. And they'll have a chip. They'll push the button and memories, memories will come flooding into their hippocampus and the chip, telling them where they live and who they are. And so a memory chip is definitely in the cards. And I think this will eventually affect human civilization. What is the future of the internet? The future of the internet is BrainNet. BrainNet is when we send emotions, feelings, sensations on the internet, and we will telepathically communicate with other humans this way. This is gonna affect everything. Look at entertainment. Remember the silent movies? Charlie Chaplin was very famous during the era of silent movies, but when the talkies came in, nobody wanted to see Charlie Chaplin anymore because he never talked in the movies. And so a whole generation of actors lost their job and a new series of actors came in. Next, we're gonna have the movies replaced by BrainNet. Because in the future, people will say, who wants to see a screen with images? That's it, sound and image, that's called the movies. In our entertainment industry, this multi-billion dollar industry is based on screens with moving images and sound. But what happens when emotions, feelings, sensations, memories can be conveyed on the internet? It's gonna change everything. Human relations will change because you'll be able to empathize and feel the suffering of other people. We'll be able to t communicate telepathically. And uh, this, is, this is coming.